Alemania. What is it, Cortez? Yeah, it's time to split. What? Cortez. Huh? Yeah? I know that Crow said he was mining the island, but we searched this place and didn't find any crystals. Well, he didn't bring Callus's men back here for the fun of it. The crystals must be here somewhere. But where? Of course! The crystals aren't on the island, they're under it! Come on, Tin Man! Hey! Hey there guys and welcome back to Time Splitters Future Perfect. We're back in 1924 on the island where we had that adventure with British Captain Ash. And now we're going underneath the island in a submarine to go look for the time crystals which are mined there. This is where it all began. The crystals are here and Crow's time machine must be here too. Destroy the crystals and you destroy Crow's power. The Time Splitters will never be created. The war will never happen. This is it, Cortez. Billions of lives depend upon you. No pressure, though. This is talking control to the Barracuda. You are not scheduled to return to base. Is there a problem? Tell them to mind their own business. That's my advice. An engineering team is standing by. Respond, please, Barracuda. Barracuda, respond immediately. That's an order. There has been an unauthorized docking in Pen 6. Security to Pen 6. Security team, stand by. Opening Iris. Here come the human maggots! Okay, here we are in this underwater city which kind of reminds me of that place you're in when you're playing Bioshock. Don't know what, what it's called because I haven't really... I've only played Bioshock for like half an hour. And that's been ages ago, so I kind of forgot most about it. OR110, you're so awesome. I mean, that human joke was pretty damn epic. Although, it's not entirely correct. I mean, humans don't just start to rot after one week, only when they're dead. He forgot to mention that in his joke. Silly robot. How can you stand being a human? Well, I guess it's because I've never been anything else. I'm not some evil alien overlord who's bent on ruling the world. I'm only trying to make you believe that. So, yeah, we need to get in here somehow. I don't have a freaking clue how to, though, because I've... It's been ages since I played this mission, or the entire game for that matter, and I like remember the least of this mission because it didn't really make a lasting impression, I guess. Oh well. I must say I do like the fact that R110 is still with us because he is by far the most awesome partner we've had. I mean, Captain Ash was... Meh. He was British, but that's about it. Harry Tipper was pretty funny, though. Joe Beth Casey also, but only because she kicked Cortez in the nads. Amy Chen was just flat-out boring. And that's about it, partner-wise. Oh, okay, there's a blue glowing thingy on the map where we need to go, but how do we open this? You can see a valve there. I like shoot this. Wait, what's damn it? The bullets are ricocheting off the window and hitting me. Wow, they had bulletproof glass in 1924. I didn't know. Although Crow's been time traveling, so it could be from like any era. Could be futuristical bullets reflecting glass from the 27th century for all I care. Oh, what's this do? Stairs. Progress, yes. Look at the size of this base! 
It must have taken years to construct. I guess that's the beauty of time travel. You start construction, then come back when it's finished. Now, Anya, you didn't really phrase that right. You leave when the construction starts and just warp forward in time to a point in time where the construction has been completed. Okay, let's go. Jeff, there could be a human hiding that pipe. I'll check it out. Ah, nothing here. Jeff. Ah. This is one dumb robot. No, 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 no. What did I tell you about bitching about my partners? Although I didn't think she, I think she hasn't been bitching about Amy Chen. But then again, Amy Chen wasn't an incompetent dumbass like Captain Ash, Harry Tipper, and Joe Beth Casey. But R110 just, hell, he was just curious. He wanted to see if there was something down there, but there wasn't. Or maybe there was, and he just dove into that pipe to go after it. Or he just fell in because he's kind of clumsy. Oh crap. Well, ooh, harpoon gun. Yay, the harpoon gun makes a return. You know, because we're underwater and they use harpoons to shoot fish and stuff underwater. Are we going to be shooting fish here? No, but we are going to be shooting guys in diver suits. Nice. And we can go underwater. Yep, no swimming in this game. Finally, a game without freaking water levels. Halle freaking Luya. Okay, where do we... Oh, crap. Don't sneak up on me like that. Let's see. Don't like it when games, like, have stuff appear in your face at random, like, scaring the crap out of you. Look at this. That's why, like, I had this pretty sweet deal for the limited edition of Dead Space 2 for like 30 bucks, but I didn't get it because it, that game's scary, man. So, what's going on? I thought I heard cheering and stuff earlier. The miners broke through into a chamber and found what the boss has been looking for. What, they found this crystal stuff? Yeah. Apparently the crystals glow with some weird inner light. What, like a lava lamp? No, Victor, you damn fool! Look, get back to your post, eh? The boss will be back soon, then there'll be plenty to do. I have to unpack the rest of the robots. Apparently they can go a bit funny if left unused for too long. Robots? They can't have robots! Of course they can. Crow's been time traveling, of course he can have robots. He could have just brought some of those robots from the previous mission back with him. Ooh, sweet. Health and armor. The ideal combination. Whip out the big ass machine gun. No. You don't just stand there and shoot at me. Do you understand what cover is? Well, I guess you don't really need any cover in this game. What the hell? Oh, so maybe that's what they mean by robots, these steampunk, steam powered. Mechanical golem-esque critters. Okay, so... I wonder what R110 would have to say about those robots. Because he said, like, oh, he's the pinnacle of creation, he's a robot. I wonder what he thinks of those robots. Crap, another one. But, yeah, did we really have steam-powered robots that can hold guns and shoot them in 1924? In a British island, nonetheless. Screw you, Japanese. The British are the new boss in town when it comes to making robots. They were like 80 years ahead of you guys. And yeah, now it's really starting to look like that place from Bioshock. Also, it kind of reminds me of Venice for some reason. Even though I've never been to Venice. It just reminds me of like pictures I saw in books and on TV and stuff. And cartoons, because everyone learns everything from cartoons, especially when you're a kid. I mean, I remember, like, there were some cartoons I watched when I was a kid that really helped me learn stuff. Like, uh, what'd you call it? Uh, I don't really know. I do know that you had some bad shit crazy cartoons back when I was a kid. Like, I recall seeing this show called Biker Mice from Mars. 
which was about three like mm, or aliens that came from a planet they were like mice and they were bikers and they were like cyborgs and stuff they were like cyborg humanoid mice that ride motorcycles and fight evil it's like completely batshit insane but I remember that show being pretty funny with batshit insane but funny and you had this like I remember seeing Eek the cat that also was pretty funny and this Walter Mellon show where he like made parodies of all kinds of movies and TV shows and stuff that was pretty good too I miss cartoons like that I mean when you see what crap Disney Channel or Disney XD or whatever the hell it's called is pumping out these days ugh I mean really such crap like freaking Jimmy Two Shoes that's like the worst show ever and freaking Hannah Montana and the Jonas Brothers and stuff Disney Channel sucks I want Jetix back or Fox Kids Fox Kids was awesome back in the day Though that might just be the nostalgia goggles speaking. Also, yay for picking off guys with double machine guns. Manly. A lift shaft. Maybe it leads down to the mining site. Better look for another way down. Greetings. Yay, R110's back. And he's polite. He actually greets me. And not just like, hello or hi. He says, greetings. Like a true gentleman. Maybe R110 has a little bit British inside of him as well. They discovered the wheel, clever humans. He must be trying to start the machine. Don't let him fire it up! Uh, what machine are you talking about, Miner Man with that awesome mustache? But if they don't want me to, to activate the machine, then I guess maybe that's what we should do. Crappy welder guys, why are welders attacking me? Makes no sense. What the hell is that? He hybrid projectile! He it! But what if they're not hungry, R110? You can't force people to eat something. That's mean. I think you can get sent to jail for that. Like force feeding. Okay, things are on fire, that's probably not good. And it's really freaking dark in here. Okay, so they have like these big ass water wheels or something. Can we have epic sword fights in them like in Pirates of the Caribbean? That would be so awesome. Although that fight was complete bullshit. I mean, how can you stand on a rolling water wheel and fight someone with swords at the same time without like losing your concentration or balance and falling off and being crushed by that thing it's like huh but then again Pirates of the Caribbean isn't meant to be realistic or are you gonna tell me that the freaking Kraken really exists and squid and fish people and all that kind of stuff look a prehistoric robot he's over there ah oh, prehistoric robot R110 you are just made for cracking jokes and stuff maybe that's what his program is for Maybe he's not a battle droid, he's a comedian droid. That would be so awesome. And I need some help. Because I'm about to die. Okay, all four engines are running. Get back to what room again? Yeah, screw it. We'll just figure it out as we go along. Because that's pretty much what we've been doing this entire time. And we can't go there. There's boxes in the way. The bane of our existence, freaking cardboard boxes. Damn it! And I just polished myself. Uh, when did you polish yourself? From what I can remember, we've pretty much been fighting the whole time. You didn't have time to polish yourself. Or could it perhaps be an innuendo that he has quote unquote polished himself? Do robots do that kind of stuff? Don't think they do. What's this? Where do we go? That eye thingy reminds me from that thing from the conduit. Uh, okay, I can safely say we are lost. That looks like a drilling machine. It must be controlled from here. If 
you can get it working, maybe you can use it to get down to the crystals. Journeying to the center of the Earth. Quick, into the driller. All right, we're going to go f even further underground. Greetings. I miss... I, I miss me girl. Eyes, eyes like little kitten. So sweet, the skin's uh, skin's like... Like silk, so soft. Breath, breath like dead dog. But nobody's perfect. And another person is drunk on duty. For a human machine, this has an impressive penetration. That's what she said. Oh yeah, that one was just a shoe-in. I don't know if the designers meant it to be like that or if it just like coincidence. But that is definitely that's what she said material. Anyways, I'm pretty sure we've just reached the end of yep, this is the end of this level. So Yeah, I said the videos were gonna be shorter from now on, and indeed they are. Robot Lewis Stevenson, that's like the prehistoric robot. So enjoy the ending cutscene and I will see you in the next part of Time Splitters Future Perfect. Bye bye. Brothers! The time has come to prove our allegiance! You all know your target! He has dared to interfere with our leader's plans! He must be eliminated! We'll see about that! Death to Cortez! Death to Cortez! Death to Cortez! I think you better stay here! Yeah, that's what you think.